party with all of my girls. And like I always say in my videos, this was in my channel likes to party days. I went out to parties a lot. I love to socialize, like be the social butterfly. Like that was just kind of my thing then. So I would always go out to parties with my girls, like my group of like five or six girls. And there was this one guy that I had like a really big crush on at the time. And like he was that guy that you wouldn't see very much. I would only see him like once a month out. He would go out on occasion. He did a lot of traveling, so he'd be out of town and then come in town like every once in a while. And every time I'd see him, I would like freak out because I was just like, I had the biggest crush on him. It was insane. And so I see him out at this party that I'm at. And basically, this party that I'm at this night, I'm like, I haven't seen this guy in like weeks, like months, he'd been gone. I immediately see him and I'm like avoiding him all night because I'm like literally afraid I have the biggest crush on him. And let me just explain to you the layout of this house. It was basically like the downstairs area had like a one big living room and then like a big kitchen. And then overlooking that was like this massive, massive staircase that like the whole house could look at the staircase. Like the staircase was like the focal point of the room, if that makes sense. And then when you went up those stairs, there was like this big loft where everyone would hang out where there was just like chairs and like sofas. It was a really, really nice like big house, you know? And there was like gaming stuff up there, whatever. So I was upstairs in the loft hanging out with all of my friends. And the guy that I had a crush on was like downstairs at the bottom of the stairs, like in the kitchen. And I'm sitting there to all my friends like talking about how hot I think this guy is, like how I have such a big crush on him. And they're all sitting there like, go talk to him, like, da -da -da. like I was acquaintances, like friends with him, but I never like had like a good conversation, you know? And so they're all like talking me up, like building my ego, like I'm, I literally feel like Paris fucking Hilton right now, like they're just making me feel on top of the world. And so finally I'm like, fuck it, I'm Tana Mojo, he would be lucky to have me, like they just, they were in my head, you know? So I was ready, I got up and I pranced my I just made a really gross noise with my mouth. Okay. I pranced my ass over to the stairs. And I go to, like, walk down them to talk to them. To talk to him. Like, at the bottom of the stairs. And I'm trying to be, like, a hot-ass bitch. And that is a number one rule in my life. Every time I try to be a hot-ass bitch, I just epically fail. I just kind of own that I'm, like, an awkward ass. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm just not your average, like, oh. <coughs> See? <laughs> I tried and then I got My eyes are watering. So anyways, I'm just not really your average, like, perfect hot girl who never makes mistakes and always looks great and it's always picture perfect. Like, I am just a mess all the time, you know? And I kind of own it. So in this moment, I was trying to be your average hot-ass bitch and prance down the stairs just like the sexiest girl mess. ever, like, brushing my hair through my fingers and, uh, like, just trying to look so hot. And I walk down two of the stairs, and he is the only person at the bottom of the stairs. So no one else sees it but the guy that I have a crush on. And I go to set on the stairs, like, and I was wearing socks, and the stairs were, like, marble. And my heel slips up from underneath me, and I slide all the way down this gigantic focal point of the house staircase and land on my ass directly in front of the guy that I had a crush on. Should we just take a moment? Should we all just, like, take a fucking moment to, like, sit here and, like, close our eyes, meditate, and process what the fuck I just told you? I literally, like, imagine me bobsledding in a fucking bobsled, like, with my family at a fucking mountain with the snow. That is how I rode down those stairs, like, boom, 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 on my ass, and then was like, hello from me, other uh, like literally directly in front of his face it was so mortifying like so mortifying and he just kind of looked at me like uh, do you want my help and like helped me up and we both kind of tried to laugh it off but it was just incredibly awkward and it also like wasn't one of those falls that like you could laugh off and be like oh ha ha like Oh no, I like Bruce Maybell, like whatever. I'm just like clumsy. It was like, take me to the motherfucking ER. I shattered my motherfucking ass. I need some fucking surgery, bitch. Like, call 911. Like, I was in so much pain. I literally fell down like 20 marble stairs. Like, it hurt so bad. And it was just so embarrassing. And 
Needless to say, I've probably talked to him like four times since that moment. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these three weird boy embarrassment stories. I hope you did. If you like my new little three short stories,